Hi folks, welcome to Okra Hamster. Ever since I got the iPhone 5, I missed the Google Map because the Apple Map software just doesn't cut it. Uh, the traffic, the notifications, um, there's no street view, the 3D view is almost useless. It's a neat trick because like Google Earth playing around, went around with that for like five minutes when it first came out. But afterwards, uh, see the traffic, see look at, look at this. High traffic, show traffic, all right. It just says there's possible construction here. There's a lot more than that here. So what I did was I found a way to get Google Maps on here. See Google Maps. And you can even have traffic show up on here. Let's go layers and traffic. Bam. Look at this. Essentially, I have all the traffic information as I had back with the iPhone 3G. So how do I get to this page? Let me just open up a new one and show you. On top here, I just type in maps, APS, maps.google.com. And it'll load this, um, essentially, the web version, the mobile browser version of Google Maps. You can turn on location services for the Safari if you want, that way it will find you, but for me, is uh, too many other sites are using location services to track you and tailor advertising to you, so I'd rather just turn that off. My main goal is to get Google Maps on here so I can check the traffic. Now, to get the traffic to show up, see this little triangle up on top here, upper right? Press that, go to layers, and now you have everything that you had before transit, bicycle, and bam, traffic. Look at this. What this still does not have is the street view. So that, I think, um, Google will need to release an actual iOS app in the App Store. But in the meantime, for my commute home, I can just check either Garden State Parkway, Interstate 90, Interstate 80, and this traffic information is a lot more useful than the Apple Maps. Now, to get this to save on your home screen, on the bottom here, this button right here, just press that and it says add to home screen, the middle one. I'm just leave it, leave it called Google Maps and click add. And right here, it's right, let me just move it to the front page here for a minute. So right here, Google Apps. Open that up, I'm back here again. Before I leave the house, before I leave work. I can now just check traffic. This is excellent. This this is definitely something that I can um, I can use. I can work with until the actual Google Maps software comes out. So I hope everyone out there found this useful. This is just a way to get Google Maps traffic back on your iPhone 5 or any iOS device running iOS 6, because iOS 6 removed Google Maps and replaced it with the Apple Maps. Well, thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Bye.